Hey, what's going on YouTube? You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of a neat Chrome extension that I stumbled upon recently that will help you figure out what Shopify theme a store is using. Now, this doesn't necessarily work for all the custom themes. Like if somebody is using a, an out of, the fan, uh, out of the sandbox theme or a theme from, uh, say, someone like Theme Forest, uh, may not always pick up those, although it does work for a lot of them. Uh, however, if somebody is using like an actual native Shopify theme, it will pretty much always pick up uh, what the theme is. So uh, this tool, this app, whatever you want to call it, this Chrome extension is called the Shopify Theme Detector. Uh, we're going to go, this is what it's going to look like. It's a little green shopping cart, uh, Shopify Theme Detector, and it's offered by Shopify, ShopifyThemeDetector.com. Uh, so we're going to click add to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. Now, one thing I will tell you is, you know, be kind of be careful about what um, Chrome extensions you add. A lot of these Chrome extensions uh, are actually going to kind of like spy on you or send data back to uh, the developers. So, um, you know, this is something that I wouldn't keep turned on all the time. Uh, if you want to figure out a theme, download it, use it and get rid of it. I might be being a little bit paranoid, but, you know, that's just me. Um so uh, let's take a look at some Shopify themes here. So uh, you can ignore the code down below. I, I was trying to build my own Shopify uh, product templates earlier uh, to build some, ah, oh, shit, this is happening again. Um, okay, good, we can move that out of the way. Um, I wanted to build a new Shopify affiliate site and I wanted to basically change the add to cart button. Um, wanted to change the add to cart button to a, uh, buy now button and have that send people on to uh, an affiliate site instead of buying. So that's that's what that's all about. But uh, is this a Shopify store? I guess we'll find out. So I, I've got a list of Shopify stores queued up here. Uh, I was going to be doing some live Shopify reviews maybe later this week. Uh, so all we do once we land on the page, we click the Shopify theme detector uh, icon here. And it tells us this one is built with minimal and this is the Shopify minimal, is that the theme? Okay, and this is built with the Shopify minimal theme. Uh, let's take a look at a couple other ones. What's the shop Lenity? Oh, looks like that store is not up anymore. And you know what's kind of crazy? It was probably less than a week ago that I found these stores to uh, review. Some of these people asked me to review. Other ones are just ones that I picked out. Uh, I think we might be doing a live stream Shopify review tomorrow. Uh, my girlfriend's sleeping over at, at a girlfriend of hers house. So uh, I got, uh, got the evening free to myself. Um, so I think we might do that tomorrow. But less than a week ago, I pulled these... Uh, Okay, so this isn't a Shopify site. Less than a week ago, I pulled these themes, or I pulled these uh, stores, and already some of them are shut down. So when we talk about, you know, the number of Shopify stores that fail, it's uh, very, very high. What is this? Travelum.co. Okay, so it's not a Shopify store either. Uh, there's another tool I like to use uh, for stores that are built on WordPress with WooCommerce. Uh, if you just Google the term, uh, you know, what WordPress theme is that, there's a couple websites that'll pop up. One is like WP Theme Detector. Another one is like what WordPress theme is that dot com. Uh, but if something doesn't show up on Shopify, you can uh, broadcast. If something isn't, okay, so broadcast theme. So this is the Shopify theme. It's just not a, a free Shopify theme. This one costs $180. Um but this is essentially the theme that this store is built with. We'll go through a couple more. I think you guys kind of get the point uh, at this point. But let's see here. What else do we got? Beaches.ca. I kind of like their logo. Uh, let's see here. Beachy Showcase theme. What is this? Okay, so it looks like... Uh, either a third party theme or, or some kind of custom built solution. Uh, we'll look at uh, one or two more here. There's one more I wanna show you guys. There's one theme I know, or there's one store I know that is actually an out of the sandbox theme. Uh, so I just wanna test this out. We'll check out that store in a second. 
and see if uh, if it does pick up like third party themes well. Not built with Shopify. Okay, so. Okay, so I just pulled up. This website is called uh, upershirts.com. Uh, this is a, a company up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. They sell t-shirts. I believe they're also a graphic design firm as well. Um, and they got a cool shop. They're actually using one of the Out of the Sandbox themes. Out of the Sandbox themes are not cheap. They're normally like three, three fifty, maybe three hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, but it's one of the best themes that you can get, and it's one of the most widely used themes. Uh, and this is actually the uh, Out of the Sandbox. It's called the. It's it's part of the Turbo Collection. Uh, and a particular name of the theme. This is Turbo Portland. Uh, but let's see if it can pick up that this is an Out of the Sandbox theme. Okay, you know, maybe they changed themes. I, I could have sworn that this was a, uh, you know, let's see, let's inspect page source. What did we say the name of that theme was? Okay, yeah, so I guess these, these guys used to be used in Portland. Uh, they're now using Parallax. Um, there's one other site. Um, I think these guys are using a third-party theme. Let me see. So as you guys can see here, with third-party themes, it's not necessarily perfect. Let's see, theme, store ID, empire. Okay, so I guess that is empire. I could have sworn that was turbo. Turbo. Okay, so they're using something called empire vo.10. Let's see if we can find anything about this. As always seems to happen, we're running out of battery. So we'll have to wrap this up quick. Uh, modular theme, Empire. Okay, so I guess they're using this Empire theme here. So um, anyhow, like I said, you know, sometimes you kind of got to dig around a little bit in the page source. That's uh, pretty easy to do. If you ever need to do that, just, you know, go to uh, the theme, right click, view page source, and then if you think you have an idea of where they bought the theme or the name of the theme, uh, you know, you can control F and search for that. Otherwise, just type the name in the, the name theme in uh, and you'll typically be able to find that. But uh, again, the uh, the app that we're using here is the Shopify theme detector. I'll link to that Shopify theme detector uh, down in the description box below, but kind of a handy tool to, to kind of keep on your browser or use if you want to figure out what Shopify theme a particular store is using. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and uh, we'll catch you on the next video guys later.